battle of backyard legends and promising new pros carry on the southern tradition of slinging sauce and trash talk, rubbing ribs and irritating egos. More than mere smoking chickens and partying with the pig in the pines, come on and get baptized in the cotton-picking cooking culture. A roaring rowdy fight to the finish for the coveted Governor's Cup down in Sweet Home, Alabama. I'm Lisa Blackwell and this is BAMIQ. We're here in Demopolis, Alabama at Christmas on the River, one of the oldest barbecue competitions in the state. It's the end of the barbecue season for the BAMIQ pros and one last chance to cook up a grand champion. The BAMIQ pros are competing against nearly 30 teams and are facing some fiery competition. Five, four, three, two, one. So Kelly, we're down here in Demopolis. You know, Jack helped organize this event. He's instrumental in this event over the years, and I know he, he passed recently. And I just wanted you to talk to the folks about Jack, how instrumental he was in this event and just barbecue in Alabama. Jack uh, was very instrumental in bringing uh, KCBS to Demopolis about 10 or 15 years ago. Jack didn't get along with everybody all the time, but you always knew where he stood with Jack. He always told the truth, and he, he was a very credible guy. Uh, years ago, when the Pitmasters uh, was showing on TV, uh, the producer called him and wanted to get uh, some of their key teams into the contest. And uh, Jack's response to him was, you know, what y'all need to do is send your in entry fee in, and get on the waiting list, just like everybody else. Uh, needless to say, the teams did not get in, and they didn't film pit matches here. So here's to Bama Q for the first TV production at Demopolis oh, Christmas on the River, AKA the Jack Cooley Invitational. Invitational. This was the Jack. The Jack. The Jack. The Jack. Good morning. That's how we start our day in the South right here. A little Koneka sausage on the grill. Eggs, some kielbasa, bacon, and you know we gotta have some of those Gouda cheese grits this morning, right? Amen. Oh, look at that steam coming out of there. Ooh, oh, look at that. This one. Buttery goodness. Yum, yum. Back on, right? Yep, yep. Is that the sauce? Yeah, in a minute. He's gotta put the finishing rubs oh. on. And the secret blend. Gives you a good balance of the uh, sweet and savory. All right, we're good. All right. The turn-in times are a little bit different today. Yeah. And you having some issues with it? Uh, I just, well, I'm just used to the same times. Every contest you go, it's not often that a contest changes your turn-in times. Uh, for this one, they did 30 minutes earlier, and they wanted to do another 30 minutes. Uh, they were going to asked to do that yesterday and we've already printed out our timeline so luckily there was enough voices that said no don't change it any more than it already is. The earlier turn-in times have been affecting some of the cooks. Let's go see if Chester's feeling the pressure. Oh, in a little timber clean can we be right? Hey Chester, you feeling the pressure oh, over here? Up, Lisa? And a yeah, different this, cooking time. We got a 30 minute time. difference, but my ribs didn't get done quite as uh, early as they normally do, so I'm a little behind. Uh oh. So we might be slinging sauce, you know. Mm, we'll I talk know. some trash later, but we're gonna be <laughs> slinging sauce. You know what I'm saying? How are they looking? Uh, they're they're good. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna color back up. The chicken was was outstanding today. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, my chicken was really good. Mm. So I'm proud of that. Where's your taste tester, Addison? Addison, it was a mud hole. So I told him not to come because of the rain and everything. But, mm -hmm. but she it was in the nice. Special Olympics yesterday in Birmingham bowling, and she got second place. That's good so for I'm Addison. So I'm so proud of Addison. Very proud yep. of her. What do you think about this last season? How did your season go? I have to say, the heart's whole thing when Addison won the yeah, kids' key. That's, that I mean, was great. She yeah, got yeah. first place in her birthday. I mean, I, I didn't care if mm -hmm. I got a call that day after they won that. That was, y'all saw her running down there and how excited she was. And, yeah. You know, she's been through a lot in her life. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but Addison uh, was, a, was a preemie and uh, she has had a brain injury at birth and she has cerebral palsy. And, and just to see her, where she's come from, from that time when she was in the NICU for 45 days and where she is today, and I'm just so proud. I, Oh, you yeah. Know, I, I just love that she, she has an She's outlet. She's doing great. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, 
yeah, it's just special for me to share that with her. And, and uh, that's probably the highlight was Hartzell with her winning that, so. All right, here we go. Championship chicken. About to go on. But hopefully we can do something. This rain's really slowed us down. I'm blowing through the wood because this uh, water is really cooling off my smoker. So maybe the rain will stop and we'll get caught up. We're way behind on everything. Cooking great barbecue begins with the right fire. Consistent temperatures slowly bring out the best championship flavors. B&B Charcoal is especially designed for cooks who take their barbecue seriously. When it's all natural, a little goes a long way. Available as wood fuel pellets, lump charcoal, briquettes, champion char logs, and hardwoods. Since 1961, family owned and operated in the heart of Texas. The consistent temperature of B&B Charcoal will give you the championship edge. Cook like a pro with Flame Boss. This popular temperature controller for charcoal grills and smokers is now available in an improved model, 500 Wi-Fi. The 500 has a larger display that shows the pit temp and three meat temps at once. Control the pit temp and monitor the meat temps from an app on your phone. Flame Boss is backed by a one-year warranty on all parts and 30-day customer satisfaction guarantee. Get a Flame Boss and go pro. Authentic is what you're made of. It's what drives everything you do, everything you create. Being authentic is not what you tell people about yourself. Authentic is what others see you do. In every situation, no compromise. Timber Creek, made from the best local grains and fruit, selected for quality and crafted with care to create the very taste of authenticity. Tupelo one year and really beat Robert Lex pretty bad. Oh yeah, we hammered I mean, him. We That's hammered him. <laughs> and it was because Kenneth and uh, Trish showed up. Yeah. So Robert just pretty much put the ban on it and Brent and I were like, no, that ain't gonna happen. So Brent went to Facebook and got a picture and we've had it in our trailer the That's whole right. time and we rubbed their head and stuff yeah. like that when we and walk out. It. And, and we've had, had autograph. We, we got an autograph. So now they come with us every competition. So. <laughs> She said, my name's Dixie. I'm the newest addition, and I'm not going to cooperate with the camera today. But I love my daddy. <laughs> it's hot in there. I don't care. She's got nuclear hands. She can grab a hold of stuff that I won't touch. Of course. So Susie, you've got a lot of heavy hitters here in barbecue this weekend. What do you think about that? Well, that's the usual suspects, and also added to it some of the top teams in KCBS. Usually when they come down here to the southeast, we still do pretty good because this is where we're from. Mm -hmm. And this is like competing in the SEC of barbecue. So how are you feeling about your cook? You think you're up there I think with everything's them? doing really good today. I mean, I was very um, pleased with the chicken. I was also extremely pleased with the ribs, which that's unusual. And then, of course, porks where we usually score very well, which last year we got first place here. But trust me, we won't get that today. And so um, how did you feel about this last year? What was your favorite moment? My favorite moment was competing by myself and actually finishing in the top 10. Oh yeah, over in Columbus, Mississippi. Yeah, you got several calls in that. Yep, I sure did. We've had a long year of barbecues and we've had a very successful year. I heard a lot of calls. Uh, what would you say is your highlight of the season? Oh, I don't know. Um, I think winning nine grands pretty much does it for me. We've never won that many before. We've got eight or nine reserves as well. So, I mean, we've just had a spectacular season. Yeah, all of our categories except for chicken are in the top five in KCBS. Um, we're top five KCBS uh, and our chicken's top 10. So, I mean, there's a lot to be happy about for this season. So we're just hoping it carries through the next season. We, it may, it may not, you never know. Judges' palettes change constantly, so you always have to be on the lookout for what's trending, what's not. These cookers are very well insulated and they 
they run pretty true to temp, so we're, we've always been happy with those and uh, never been affected much by the weather. You don't want to get them wet or you don't want to get the pellets wet, of course, or, or get down in the uh, smokestack. You know, that's the, the worst thing. I'm here with Ellen and Brian with the Atlanta Barbecue Store. A lot of the teams here use products from your store, right? They do, yeah. That's why that's one of the main reasons we came up here is mm -hmm. to see some of our customers and thank them for what they do for us. It's neat um, being able to know our customers and see them on a regular basis. We come out here to find out what people want, what people need, and then we go back and make sure we have it on the site. I'm going to show you how to make my stuffing, or in the South we call it dressing using Compart Duroc Cranberry Sausage. All I need is one pack. It's already seasoned, so you really don't have to do a lot to this dish. So I'm slicing it very thin, about a quarter inch. All right, here I have a bowl that's equivalent to one bag of cornbread stuffing mix. So we're gonna add the sausage, the whole pack, one small chopped onion, we're only going to use a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, your favorite brand. Some fresh cracked pepper. And now some stock. You can add chicken or turkey stock. And I will put enough stock just to make it moist. For one bag, it usually takes about 32 ounces of stock. All right, I'm letting this soak up the liquids. Once all of the stock is soaked up into the bread, I'm just gonna put it in my pan. Either butter or spray your pan so it won't stick. About 30 minutes on 350, and your stuffing will be ready to serve. All right, it's been 25 minutes. It's golden brown and sizzling. Mmm, smells delicious. Perfect every time with Compart Duroc sausage. I'm gonna steal a taste. Do you have problems with nasty flare-ups when grilling your food? Most grills are prone to flare-ups and always at the wrong time, especially when you're grilling expensive, beautifully marbled ribeyes or anything wrapped with bacon. Grill grates are interlocking raised rail panels that form a new grilling surface on any grill. Juices drip into the valleys where they sizzle, vaporize, and smoke back as flavor. Champions, chefs, and restaurateurs have all embraced grill grates. You've got great grilling ahead. I guarantee it. Bush Hog's line of zero-turn mowers are turning heads as a solid investment you can depend on. And now, they have 48 months free interest on all models. So whether you're a lawn care professional who requires productivity and dependability, or a homeowner who wants professional results, there's a model to fit your needs. Bush Hog Equipment is built Bush Hog Tough in Salma, Alabama, and is sold locally by local qualified dealers since 1951. The best gourmet pork with superior tenderness and mouth-watering flavor comes from Compart Family Farms. With over 50 years of select breeding, Compart Duroc Pork has become the universal choice for barbecue champions. They offer a full range of cuts online with direct delivery to your home. Buy direct at compartduroc.com and use their cooking tips and recipes to enjoy juicy, healthy pork. There is a difference. Buy direct at compartduroc.com and enjoy. Decent size, unless you like the bigger, bigger thighs. You like big thighs, and you just yeah, can't lie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, how about that? It's pretty big chicken, so we can only ever fit six pieces in. Oh my goodness! I'm good with it. It's it's a miracle. <laughs> I don't see anything I have to clean up. Mm. Nothing. Wow. Wow. This, this is the first. We might get huh. a 180 pin for just putting these in the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lex. Good luck. Thank you. Like the gloves. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. When the brain kicks in. What uh, we're hoping to do is disguise a little of this 
blindness. This one sort of matches up better than that one. Does that one look too big? Here? I like it because of the bone sticking out, but that's the only reason. That's a, yeah. All right, so these are on the bottom, and we'll let's turn around and put the meaty side up. Clean up on aisle five. None. None. It's amazing. <laughs> A couple of dribbles. It's my I'm first so time to ever do this. Get a close up and, and see. <laughs> Actually, looks pretty good. <laughs> if I just look at it and don't try to eat it, we're all right. <laughs> okay. They colored up nice. Mm, see that? that? Attacked up nice. Let's see what we got. Okay, all Chester. Right. I always paint a little bit on the cutting yeah. board. This is uh, Smoky Mountain Smokers uh, mm -hmm. cutting board. Like I've told y'all, this thing is awesome. Uh, keeps me from having to clean up so much. I'm not a fan of any of these, y'all. Uh-oh. Might not be a good rib day. Thank you for holding that. Mm -hmm. If I help out anyway, I can. Uh, you should have got where we're at. 12 25 seconds. It is what it is now, right? Hopefully the pork and the uh, brisket will bring it home to the chicken. picture than I can looking at it. Alrighty. What is going on here? What is this? What Lisa, is here? welcome to the Beehive. It's official, man. There you go. All right. We're ready to jam now. Okay. <laughs> so Lisa, what we do that some some other teams don't do on this is we we pre-cut our brisket, and this one kind of laid flat a little bit, so you see how it's kind of wider on this side? Mm -hmm. Can't do anything about that, it relaxed. Yeah. We take a ruler, we measure it seven inches across, okay, and then I take a pair of scissors and I trim all the way around the edges. That way when I slice it, I hope that it doesn't fall apart. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of, it helps kind of seal the edges when we do that. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right, come on in. Line me up, move me if you need to. All right. Tenderness seems like it's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's what you're looking for right that's here. That's what you're looking for right there, mm -hmm. and then. Do the pull test. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's what All you right. want. Mm -hmm. Catch welding glove. Mm -hmm. right, well, I got this one. This <laughs> oh, is you too got, okay. hot. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. I didn't do that. Our sauce is boiling Or with a paper towel. All right, that sauce is dead. Uh oh, what happened? Um. Left it on the eye too long. Uh oh. When oh, it starts boiling, it will um. It'll burn the sugars in it. Yeah. Oh. Hey Jeff, let me pour up some more sauce. All right. All right. That's what happened. Here we go. Right there. Yep. Dump it in there. Mm. Very smoky. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Nice looking smoke ring there. Look at that. Well, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're doing that so the meat it doesn't turn gray on the way to turn in and it adds another layer of flavor. Right, okay, roll, it. go. You got just a few minutes, you gotta go. Rock, bubba, rock. Good, that looks good. Mm, it looks beautiful. Is it yeah. good? Yeah. It tastes good? I Hopefully thought it tastes good. Christmas. It's all right. Yeah. So I gotta take this layer of fat off the bottom. Okay. box clean up here. A little splashy, splashy here. Get all this dabbed off. Mike, how are we doing on time? There we go, brother. Last turn in. Hopefully I won't slip and bust my tail. There you go. Pretty good. Grilla Grills are built to deliver great championship barbecue flavor. The original Grilla turned the industry on its head by featuring a unique airflow that enhanced barbecue smoke flavor, creating a style like no other. The classic silverback wood pellet smoker delivers a rich wood flavor evenly across a large cooking surface for a quick meal. And don't forget Kong, a versatile ceramic Komoda grill. 
ideal for grilling, smoking, baking, and roasting. Buy direct at grillagrills.com. I had a dream, a beautiful dream. I couldn't believe how real it seems. Up on stage in the field of green, on the winding river, on a song you sing. When I wake up, I'll see you here in Montgomery, where dreams come true. I hope it's a Merry Christmas for the bees knees with chicken. We had a good call in um, Columbus with it, so first time we'd had chicken call in a long time, so I hope it's good. Everything good. sucks. <laughs> it's overcooked. If it does anything, I'll be surprised. Hopefully we're good. Uh, we're good. Eh. It's the last one of the season. I'm just tired. But our ribs were pretty good today. We had a few people that checked them out and said they were okay. Chicken, I'm not sure. We'll wait and see about brisket and pork. So we've been to Orange Beach, Alabama, Hattiesburg, Evans, Georgia, Decatur, and now Demopolis, Alabama. And everywhere I go, Ron, everybody's there's one got question. one question. What? What's, What's causing, causing all this? this? Bama Q, baby! Roll tight! Bama Q! I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> It's a perfect, perfect in her. Yeah. I'm here with Grand Champion winners Cajun Blaze. And you guys, how excited are you about your first place win? Awesome. Wasn't Better. expecting it at all. How did your cook go? Pretty good. Only only when we weren't happy with was brisket, but it made it. So. What did you think about your field of competitors today? Pretty tough field. Had a lot of them whenever I drove up. I was like, ooh, I wish they wasn't here today. But you're excited, right? Yes, Very indeed. Excited. We wanted to come here to try to get a reserver grand so we could qualify for the KCBS uh, Invitational in February. Mm -hmm. We had just our fifth KCBS for the year. Come close a couple times to reserving grand, so we made the trip just to try to get it. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh oh, kind of hard to shake hands with all the hard work. Right. Huh? I'm here with South Fork, and wow, they got a call <laughs> in every category today, right? Except for brisket. Oh, okay, except for brisket. Brisket took us out. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get a taste of your brisket, but I thought your pork was good, had a great flavor. So, how excited are you? Oh my gosh. I just, I, I still can't believe that we actually did as good as we did. I thought the pork was too tight in the middle, and you heard me complain about mm -hmm. that while we she were complained doing the She complained about mm -hmm. the pork. She complained about this. I told her the chicken was good. I told her the ribs were fantastic. So did Jimmy. And what happens <laughs> first place in ribs? We have not had a first place rib call in like two years. So this is fantastic for us. Yeah. We're, we're very, very happy yes. with the second place. Um, we got a second place, a first place, and a third place. Yes, and with some tough competitors. I mean, we just talked to Cajun Blaze <laughs> and some yes. other people here. We're less than a point off of reserving this contest today. Oh and my gosh. There, was, uh, there were people here Whoa. from, there were people chasing points all over the United States that came to this contest. It's one of the last contests of the year. It's Demopolis, Alabama. It's in December, and uh, there's not much left going on. <laughs> well, this is really awesome, and it's so great to hear your names called. So congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if you can shake hands. I can shake hands. <laughs> okay. I can always shake hands. Always. <laughs> Good job. The Demopolis Christmas on the River barbecue cook-off is in the books. The Alabama Barbecue Association walked away with more than 15 calls in the four categories and three calls in the top 10 overall. Congratulations to all the teams.
Join us next time as the Bama Q Pros continue their tradition of slinging sauce, talking trash, and battling it out for the top awards. We've been hiding this for a while, haven't we? Yeah, Brent's gonna get mad. There might, there might be some new teams next year. Some, There's a negotiation. There's some negotiations for, uh, you going know, on. It, it pays to be a good partner. And so there's some negotiations well, going, going I, around. I'm just the gonna say, I've been noticing it and you're not appreciated enough. You ain't complimenting me enough on my hair. That's, <laughs> Tony's all over. Look, I mean, he won't It's always it about the hair, see? I mean, Cause mine's gone, you know, Tony. Tony it, can't keep his hands I, off I, of I think we need to do a barbecue event next year. Okay. Where we swap teammates. It's like wife swap. That would kind of be interesting, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be fun? We could do that and make it more interesting. Well, we couldn't do it with Suzanne. We could all do it shirtless. Yeah. I mean, you know, let's. that'd be one. Oh, hey, all right, here we go. Here we go. Wait, here we go. All right, let's get in here. What were you guys here. talking about? I tell you what, it, yeah. it, it, is, it has been a ride this year. I mean, we come in halfway through the season, but it's, I'm telling you what, it's best friends for life right here. They're awesome. Yeah. You guys yeah. need to come out to a contest. Just hang out. Get, yeah. Go to KCBS Judd School. Be a judge. Come hang out with us. Come see us. Uh, a lot of fun, and yep. we yeah. love everybody, and we'll feed you well. And, oh yeah. And uh, bottom line is, we we all love each other, but we do want to kick each other's ass. Oh yeah, too, we so. want to win. Now. Don't get do it. Don't get me wrong. I want to win. Awesome, yeah. You know what I like about you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Make up. <laughs>